This is an ultrasound study of an uh, 18 years old young female unmarried. Uh, here I am in the pelvic region. Uh, the reason being to identify the pelvis uh, and uh, explore the pelvis first of all and to identify the uterus. Now this is the uterus that can be seen. This is the urinary bladder. This is the uh, uterus. This is the vagina. And uh, the measurement of the uterus may not be accurate because of the large mass that you are seeing uh, is in front of you, though. But I am in fact concentrating on the uterus uh, presently. This area is only identified measuring 4.0 into 2.6 centimeter. Uh, I have to give a lot of pressure to get the uh, uterus because of a huge mass, complex cystic and solid mass that is uh, extending from the region of the uh, pelvic cavity. Now this is an impression of the uterus, again measuring same, and uh, this is the cervix, this is the vagina. Now I am going to move the probe in the right head region of right head in extra, and you can very well see the stick <laughs> and solid complex mass uh, with uh, internal calcification of this is a calcified area seen uh, within it uh, measuring 4 centim 4 point 4 point 1 centimeter along with numerous uncountable tiny to uh, bit larger cystic areas interspread throughout it now, it, this cystic area measures 14.5 into 18.8. Rest, we can see that all of this area is ecogenic. There are multiple cystic areas and it extends in both flanks. This is the left flank and uh, this is the right flank. See its appearance. Here, dependent region at the pelvic cavity appears grape-like and when I move the probe towards the uh, epigastric region, now I am in transfer section in the epigastric region. You can see a lot of <coughs> septa, these are all septation thread-like structures that you are seeing in here. These are all septations and this is the fluid. So this, it means that uh, fluid and septa are seen at the anterior compartment of this uh, large mass occupying all of the abdominal cavity with the cystic and solid areas is relatively cystic at its anterior part and uh, anterior region this area and here we see when we come towards the pelvic region or towards the lower abdomen it takes the shape of a grape-like uh, mass. And here, now I'm going to give a three from the parasynthesis pubis in the omitudinal section up to the epigastric region. And this is what you will see, this you are seeing. <coughs> this is a typical solid element that we may call as, there are multiple solid elements. Calcification is seen, not only that, minor calcifications are also seen. There is no mass effect or pressure effect on the kidney, I have seen that. This is the liver, this is uh, the gallbladder in front of you, here is the liver. It does not relate to the uh, kidney, both poles are clear, eclumbus sans peta. And, uh, 
करवट लो उधर बैठा बोथ एंड ऑफ द किडनी आर क्लियर दिस इज किडनी डज नॉट रिलेट टू द किडनी बेटर सीधी हो जाओ स्ट्रिप्ट सीधा हो जाओ to show you the pancreas here is the pancreas this area this is the pancreatic body head of the pancreas body of the pancreas splenic vein superior mesenteric vein superior mesenteric artery aorta <coughs> this is the longitudinal section this is the aorta and longitudinal section this is the head of the pelvis you can see the duct is not dilated no mass effect and no relation to the <coughs> sorry pancreas as well similarly you can see that the upper pole of the left kidney is clear so pain is normal in size there is no pleural effusion and there is no free flow seen in the peritoneal cavity this is our case of the day thank you very much now this is a doppler application on the mass that is showing you that it contains numerous blood vessels as you can see this one centripetal flow and this is venous as uh, its centrifugal flow so both venous and arterial blood flow are seen if you see this bar <coughs> and uh, i am on the vascular area whereas by let's see try up in the power doppler excuse me this is a complex cystic and solid mass with uh, arterial and venous blood flow within it i wish to get some better yeah you can see the atrial wave form this is the arterial supply and uh, what do we see by applying the doppler on uh, vascular uh, on venous structures let's see and compare the wave form so this is in fact a uh, vascular mass this is the benefit of the uh, doppler rest all i have shown you is vascular all over in every area that i scan okay let's apply it over here and see see you can see the vessels all over thank you very much